Hello, and welcome to my storytelling space. A story is waiting. Join us. Come in. And now, if you're ready, the tale will begin. Once, in a faraway land and in a long ago time, it was the custom that every parent would give their firstborn son very fond, long names. But to their second and third and fourth children, they would give short names. Well, there was a woman who had two sons. And to her firstborn son, she gave the name of Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Cherry Bear Rushi, Pip Perry Pembo, which meant the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. But to her second son, she just gave the name of June which meant little or nothing at all. Now, it was also the custom that the mother would do the washing down at the river. So that day, the woman went down to the river and she left her two sons playing up on the hill. And she cautioned them, she said, now you may play over here, but do not play near the well. So the mother went down to the rushing river and she began to do the washing. Well, the boys played here and then they played a little closer to the well, then they played around the well, then they played on the well and June fell into the well. <gasps> well, quickly, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Cherry Berry Rushi, Pip Berry Pembo ran to where his mother was doing the washing in the river and he said, mother, June has fallen into the well. Speak up, said his mother. The river rushes and I cannot hear you. And so again he said, Mother, June has fallen into the well. Oh, said his mother, that bothersome child. Quick, tell him the old man with the ladder who lives over there to come and fetch him out. So Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Cherry Berry Rushi, Pip Perry Pembo ran as fast as ever his little legs could to the old man. And he said, old man, June has fallen into the well. Oh, said the old man, I will come. And so he put his ladder underneath his arm and as fast as his old legs could go, he went to the well and step over step, step over step, he went into the well. And then step over step, step over step, he came out of the well carrying the body of June. And he pushed the air in and he pumped the water out. And he pushed the air in and he pumped the water out. And soon, June was as good as new. Well, now everything went well until there was a great festival of the eighth moon. And again, the mother went down to the river to do the washing and she cautioned her boys not to play near that well. And so the boys were eating their rice cakes and they were dancing around over here and then they were playing here and then they were playing around the well and then they were playing on the well and this time Tiki Tiki Tembo No Saw Rembo Cherry Bear Rushi Pip Perry Pembo fell into the well. Well quickly Chum ran down to his mother and he said mother Tiki Tiki Tembo No Saw Rembo Cherry Bear Rushi Pip Perry Pembo has fallen into the well. Speak up, said his mother. I can't hear you. The river is rushing. And so Chun took a breath and said, Oh, ma mother, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No So Rumbo, Cherry Berry, Rushi, Pip Perry, Pembo has fallen into the well. Oh, I still cannot hear you. She said, What is it you want? Well, Chun took a breath and he went, Mother, Tiki, Pip, Cherry, Pem. What, said his mother? What do I hear? You speak your brother's name with reverence. And so for Chun, he, he took a deep breath and he said, Mother, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Cherry Berry, Pip Perry Pembo. His mother said, say that again. And so he started again with another deep breath. Oh, Mother, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Cherry Berry Rushi, Pip Perry Pembo has fallen into the well. <gasps> no, said.
said his mother, my precious pearl, quick, run and tell the old man with the ladder. And so Chun ran as fast as ever his little legs could to where the old man with the ladder was, but the old man was asleep. And so he shook him and he said, oh, old man, tiki tiki dimbo, no sal rembo cherry berushi pip, peri pembo has fallen into the well. The old man rubbed his eyes and said, I had dreamt I'd found my lost youth again. Please let me sleep. And so Chun shook him again and said, my brother has fallen into the well. Oh, said the old man, your mother's precious pearl. And so he put the ladder under his arm and as fast as his old legs could, he went to the well and step over step, step over step, he went into the well. And step over step, step over step, he came out of the well carrying the body of Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Cherry Berry Bushy, Pip Perry Pembo. And he pushed the air in and he pumped the water out. And he pushed the air in and he pumped the water out. And he pushed the air in and he pumped the water out. And he pushed the air in and he pumped the water out. But it was a long time before Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Cherry Berry Bushy, Pip Perry Pembo was ever the same again, all because of his very long name. And that is why that now in that faraway land, all parents give all of their children short names. And that story is an old folk tale called Tiki Tiki Tembo No Sa Rembo Cherry Berry Rushi Pip Perry Pembo. I'm sure if you listen to this story a couple of times, you'll be able to say that yourself. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye-bye.